Francis in our New Hey Hire Merchants Association, which had contacted uh, the city to just ask about some common misconceptions with respect to the downtown development authority. So a lot of those arose from that as well. Uh, so we'll have obviously more time for questions and answers and input from the floor, uh, but uh, we're here to talk about local efforts and, uh, and certainly look forward to, uh, to the rest of, of what we're going to cover tonight. Okay. I I'd like to go ahead and uh, set up the, the next portion uh, as discussed by the mayor. Um, we have uh, a architectural firm that's located in town, Alton Barrett Associates. Alton Barrett, uh, as you know, has uh, performed projects uh, around the state uh, and beyond, and certainly has a lot of, uh, of investment in this community uh, with respect to its location and with respect to its new investments in the adjacent property. Uh, the uh, council retained uh, Walter and, and his uh, partner, uh, Keith, to look at the other building and assess its condition, and uh, I'll go ahead and let him take it from there. Thank, thank you very much. Sam, you're going to help me because my shooter ain't going to shoot that long. I'll just give you the thumbs up signal when we go to the next slide. Uh, thank you all for inviting me. Um, I'm, I'm a little different than they are. I'm a, I'm a private business, so, um, and I can tell you how a DBA would help me. Um, if, if you don't know, our practice is on Main Street. It's right next to the subway there. We came in and renovated that building. And we're in the process of working on meetings right now and getting it out. We've got a couple new businesses that we're developing and putting in there. And it's, it's scaled for, for Hay Hour, and um, we're excited about it, and we're working steadily to do it. Um, as a case study the, for the DBA, Odom sets up perfect. Uh, it's, it's a building that, that is very, very attractive. It's very historic. It was built in the early 1900s. It's still got a lot of historic elements that, that are in the building, both structurally, stairs, uh, things of that nature that would be wonderful to restore. Um, I'm going to go through and kind of give you a, a brief of where that building is currently right now in, in its life and in its state. Um, two slides up. This is the, the floor plan, uh, the first floor plan of it. It's a three-story building. It sits uh, right in the middle on the other side of the railroad tracks, only three-story building in Hay Hire. Um, built around 1904 to 1920, sometimes like that. The, the buildings are the closest to the railroad are the oldest as they move back a little, little, a little younger. Uh, this is the first floor, and if you were to walk into this building on the first floor, there have been two recent buildings, uh, businesses that have been in there, and it, and it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Um, the walls look good, uh, you know, the, the floor looks sound, um, and, and it really kind of is. The problem is when you get to the second floor, and you get to the third floor, and you get to the roof. Um, water is the big construction of these buildings, and if you look at a total failure for building like this, and you go through Barney, there used to be a little strip of buildings there that was up, and those buildings have collapsed in on themselves, and that's what happens to these buildings if you let them sit, uh, especially with the water, it brings them down. It starts on the edges, it corrupts all the structure, the roof comes in, the walls can float in, in, inside of it. Um, this building's in good shape. They put a roof on it in time to stop the leaking that was coming in. You know, it's about time for that roof to be redone. The bottom floor, as I said, looks real good. We'll go to the next slide. Here's some of the pictures. Um, um, that's Mr. Weatherton's building. If you're looking back toward it on the wall on the inside of here, it's looking back toward the open building. That was a fitness center that was on the first floor. It looks good. You can see the other the buildings at the other pictures at the top where the building looks like it's in very, very good shape. We'll go to the next one. Some of the plumbing fixtures and things like that have been replaced, but you can about you, you can bet that they need to be redone from the plumbing lines to the electrical to the heating and air and all of that. Uh, next slide. This is still on the first floor looking down, and those errors are pointing where those pictures are at. Everything looks in pretty good shape. There's some wear and tear, and there's some things that are popping off. And if you look at that second picture, that's water damage. That's water coming down the wall from the roof that made that happen. Next slide. And this is where the trouble starts. This is the second floor of it, and if you can see the hatch there has to run down the side. That's where the water comes in. It was a pitched roof where the water shed toward the outside, and, and then when the roof fell, it came down the walls. The structure is engaged to those masonry walls, because that's how they built them. So they had pockets, and they slide the wood in. Well, the wood rots when it gets the water, and then it starts to fail on the side. This, this, this level is, is, uh, is dilapidated pretty severely, and it gets more dilapidated as you get toward the exterior walls. Go to the next one. There's some of the pictures on the inside. In this, you can see 
the condition of the building, but you can also see some of the things that are more saving. There's a big stair right there that's historic. It's still got the wood. A lot of the original wood that was on the floors is still up there. Uh, all, most of the structural components that were in there are still there and can be fixed. Uh, the walls are in good shape. The exterior walls are in, in good shape for the age of the building. So, I mean, there are a lot of positives that have been a part of this. Next slide. This is level two again, and you can see with the second one down the right, you can see how the wood joists engage into the wall, and you can see where the, you can start to see some of the dry rot and some of the water rot and some of the failures that you have in there. We'll go to the next slide. Again, that's the that's the inside of it. But the, the main structure, if, if you look at the second one on the on the left over here with the big timbers, those are historic. Those that's art pine. Those those are in good good working condition and shape. So structurally, you've got some pieces there that can be fixed fairly easy to revive this building from a structural standpoint, especially on the second level. We'll go to the third and fourth. One more slide. And this is this is where it gets really bad. This is where the water came in. This is the thing that broke uh, right in the worst. As you can tell from the hatched areas on either side, the, the corruption and the has come all the way out nearly to the center. If you walk down the middle of the building, you're okay. If you start walking toward the wall, you'll fall through, you know, all the way to the second floor. So there's significant work to be done up there. And I'm kind of building up to some of the The worse it gets, the more money it costs. And, uh, so, so, <laughs> and that's where DBA can help somebody like me who would want to come in and do it. So uh, we'll go to the next side and take a look at some of the area that's up there. Uh, it's a very beautiful, it's a wide open space up there. Uh, it's got two stages on each end. I can't figure out what those were used for, but, it's, but it was a wide open, clear span space, which is very, very unique. Those structures, no trusses, are, they're in poor shape, but they're still up there and can be fixed. So, uh, so, so the building has a tremendous amount of character to it, and, it, and, it's, and it's got a lot of uniqueness to it. All right, next, next slide. Again, as you go back and you see, you can see the four boards that are still there. Those can, those can be rehabbed and fixed. The exterior wall is again in good shape again. Uh, it's together, it has some cracks in it, but those have kind of been fixed over the years with different types of brick ties and things like that, which, which is fine and natural. Uh, the windows have been replaced, while they're not restored, but they have kept the portable coming in the building from the side. Here's a picture of the stair going back down, and all that's original risers and stair treads. Um, that's original structures that you're looking at up there. Now that pole is not, that steel pole is not, that's, they're holding it up. Um, over time, the, the trusses have sagged through the water weight and rot and corrode, and it kind of failed in the middle, so they shorted up to keep, to keep it to keep falling in. Next slide. And again, this, that's another look at the pockets, and that's where the, the, the trouble actually started with the building, with the rot, and on the edges with the, with the structural members against the wall. Next slide. The roof level plan, the roof has been redone. Uh, it was recovered, resurfaced. The structural components hadn't been redone. They just kind of kept the water out of it, which has been corroding. And, and if they hadn't, the building would be in far worse shape. And uh, uh, would cost much more money at this point to, to fix it. Okay, we'll go to the next one. And as you can see, the original trusses are up, up, some of them are still up there in the configuration of them. And then you can tell that the, the, the roof did pitch from left to right. It was hidden by the parapet. Um, it had gutters inside of it and went through the wall and down down spouts in there. Next slide. More pictures of the structure and the thing. Looking at the pictures, you know, you can tell, I mean, this building is actually very, very soundful. Next slide. That's showing in the bottom picture there that's holding up the center, center bin. Next slide. And this is the exterior of it. If you can see the three stories, two store fronts. It's actually a double store front on the front, the two buildings. Uh, upstairs was typically storage space for the businesses down below. Um, two levels going up. You have a building attached, uh, two stories to one side of the building, one on the other. Next slide. Next slide. And this is kind of where, where it really helps to have the DBA in place. As you can tell, when you go through, you start breaking this building down by component parts. And this isn't to outfit it. This is just to structurally stabilize it and get it to a level 
where you could have a tenant come in and, and, and build it out and fit it. So this is basic heat and air, basic electrical, basic plumbing, correcting structural issues, uh, and, and make it so you've got a solid platform to come in and, and, and go from there. And when you, when you look at it piece by piece, and, and you add it up, and this is, you know, 11 or 12,000 square feet building somewhere right in there, it's nearly $900,000 to get it to that point. And, you know, that's, that's, that's a lot. You, you know, a lot of money for, you know, people like me to come in as a single investor. But when you can go out and you've got things that are available to you, you know, through a DDA, when, you, when they do have grants available, zero type interest loans and things like that, it makes this, these types of properties much more attractive. Same thing with the historic district too, you get tax credits and things like that. Folks, folks like me that are in the business of coming in and fixing these, uh, these become very, very, very attractive. And it, it, makes, it makes Main Street look good. Um, it, 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 you know, it, it shapes up, hey, higher what it used to be. So anyway, that's kind of where we are, and that's, and that's kind of what I have to say about uh, Odom. Jonathan, anything you'd like me to add or, or, or expand upon? Okay, thank you. Yeah.